of Fame collector here. Another video. I have a Hall of Fame autograph upgrade. Um, so yeah, obviously the Hall of Fame baseball autographs are few and far between. But uh, I do want to upgrade some items here. So in this video, I managed to upgrade, in my mind, what an upgrade would be. And, um, and of course, some Maddox. Um, so hang on. Let me see what I got here. This first one here. Yeah, so here is an existing autograph. I mean, this autograph is beautiful. It's, uh, I'd argue it's actually better in better shape than the upgrade. But this is uh, Roderick J. Wallace, Bobby Wallace. This is just a signed index card. Uh, full name, which is very nice. Uh, certainly uh, not something to want to kind of move, but uh, I just don't like that it uh, is just a standard index card and not dated. Uh, this does have a JSA uh, letter of authentication, uh, but was on my list of things to upgrade um, and uh, happened to finally upgrade. And so uh, this is, again, Bobby Wallace, a Hall of Famer. Uh, I think he was born in 1873 and died in 1960. But uh, yeah, check this out. This is my upgrade. Uh, RJ, Bob Wallace, Redondo Beach, California. This is, again, this is 1954. Thank you, Mike. Lots of luck with your collection. Uh, I wish you said Bill, but uh, this is not Mike here. But uh, best wishes, RJ, Bob Wallace. So I guess the autograph quality may not be as perfect as that one and it's not full name. However, uh, I just love things that are dated. So um, a government postcard is always an upgrade for me. All right, jump right into Greg Maddox with some really nice ones here. Uh, this is from 1999 Fleer Ultra. Of course, their basic parallel is the gold medallion. This is the platinum medallion. This one is beautiful in person. <clears throat> Base card, platinum medallion, parallel, and it is numbered out of 99. Next, I take you to the year 2000, Pacific Prism. They have a number of different uh, patterns, right? Was, Prism was one of the first to really create all these different patterns. And this is the second hardest one to get. Obviously, the proofs, which are the 10, are ridiculously impossible. Um, but this is the second hardest one to get. It kind of looks fairly standard. However, when you look close, um, you can't really pick it up. But look, look between his arm and his glove. You see some letters there. kind of wraps around his entire body. This is the premiere date. And the premiere date has the tiniest numbering out of 61. So uh, really happy to get that tough prison parallel. Speaking of parallels, here is another parallel um from two i'm no, sorry 1999 pacific omega this is the base card however this is the copper parallel and the copper parallels are just number two 99 all right here's a card i'd love to know more about it's from 1997 donruss limited there was a card called the unlimited talent um, which was one in 36 packs, uh, one in 720, and there's only 1,467 of them. However, this is the much harder, uh, like, refractor version of it. This is the limited exposure version of that card, um, and uh, it features Maddox, and it features um, another guy here, Hideki Irabu, uh, rookie, I guess, but um, the star is... Greg Maddox, and uh, just for reference, there's a Star Factor uh, card in this set, which has a, the standard card, and then the Star Factor has a stated print run of 40. So um, obviously, they say that's the hardest one to get, so this is, has a print run more than 40. However, it's uh, it's gotta be pretty low. You never see these. I'm gonna guess maybe 100. I don't know. I would love to know. This one was just pretty cool and a cheap price, so I picked it up. It's 2003 Topps Pristine <clears throat> Refractor. The shine is pretty crazy. Um, and it is uh, numbered out of 99, this particular version. This one's interesting. It's a 2001 EX 
Wall of Fame. It's a die cut card. So you can see it's, it's uh, well now it's now it's a fallen die cut card, but you can see it's uh, got the cut there. But it's got a feature as a piece of outfield wall um, from somewhere Brewers Brewers Stadium. Um, this is one in uh, twenty four packs. One in seven twenty. Here's a pretty tough old card here. This is 1995 Select. Uh, this is the Artist Proof. Um, and these are actually pretty tough. They're one in 24 packs, one in 6,000. And you do the math, the print run is only 475, which is pretty low for 1995. I think that's uh, less than the uh, refractor, uh, the finest refractor. All right, and to end this video, what I did want to do is <clears throat> put away... Uh, I picked up a whole lot of super low end inserts just to kind of fill my uh, thing here. <clears throat> All these cards are probably, you know, 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars, whatever, somewhere around there uh, or less. And uh, they're seated one in 500 packs or less. So I wanted to show these ones off so I can put them away. Take care, guys. Look out for the next video.